up air combo and then he sends me back down. Fal That's how he feels. Falco has that vortex, bro. It's he does. That you know what's crazy? The fox vortex is he sends you up, right? And then he just gets you up there and he kills you up. But like Falco, man, he takes you everywhere, bro. He like literally. I'm telling you, he's he's a Marvel character. He actually like air combos you, man. It's, that air to air combo. Yeah, air to air, air to air, air combo. Yeah, man, jump cancel combo. Everything. Oh, master. Head. Okay, he went back tomorrow. Haha. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so game one, we're gonna be going over to PS2. Also, I don't know if it's me or placebo or what, but or I haven't been here in a while. These monitors look so vibrant in different colors. Honest? I was actually just yeah, about dude, to say that. Yeah, it's something. I either upgraded them or changed something, and I have no idea. It's, it's production value the 2GG's putting on. They're trying to make this look pretty for us. Yeah, shout out to Javi. He has a special camera on the, on the, on the deck. Anyways, I remember Javi got that camera. He was so happy. He's like, oh, this game looks so nice. And it does. Yeah, with a uh, Elgato stream link. Mm -hmm. Anyways, empty hop, almost the ground. Love that spot dodge. I told you, man. Look, you, ha you have to respect that. That was such a good spot dodge. He knew he was going to roll forward. Neon knew that Master Mario just wasn't fast enough, so that spot dodge was perfect, especially for the fact that he got that up till the uh, up till backer, bro, the KFC combo. Yep. Wow, big charge, and he actually died for that, too. No DI? I don't think he thought he was going to get hit by it. You know, I didn't think he thought he was going to die from it, too, but unfortunately, he's just kind of like, I'm the no DI, man. Didn't think it was going to happen, okay. but look where we are. I think the one thing I'm really liking about Master Mario is like he's trying to stay in the neutral and give you the space. Mm -hmm. And the thing here, too, is like you kind of have to remember, Falco actually has some distance. Uh, yeah. Fair, down tilt, up tilt, uh, up air, back that air. Up tilt. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, that's a Marvel character. That is. I can hear the announcer saying air combo, two hit. Yeah, like that ground air combo, bro. It's, it's all reliable. There we go. Here's the up tilt. Gets the damage. Double up air. This is the thing, too. I don't see Master Mario kind of like standing back and using fireballs. And what Eon is really used to is honestly parrying him and then also like reacting to it because I'm not saying Master Mario is predictable. It's Mario's toolkit does become predictable at a point. Right, like he's gonna go for back at here because honestly, he can space it. It feels like a sword. I, lo I love that threatening uh, aura that Eon put out. He went down, he went low, and he double jumped out there. He, he, he didn't have to do anything. Yeah, he actually yeah, he didn't even have to fair. At that point, Master was like, "Oh my god, I need to do something." And he yeah, upbeat yeah. out of panic and look, he. It's just him being off stage. That was the scariest part. That he's was like, the minute I'm off, yeah, <laughs> the minute I'm off stage, you're scared. You have to respect me. Yeah, with the with the vertical with the vertical like reach that Falco jump gets. That's about to wrap. Right. Yeah. Now moving over to the Pichu. Eon did play this character for a while in the beginning of Ultimate. Yeah, Eon actually dabbled with a lot of characters. I know he has like a Falco, he has the Pichu, the Joker, the Fox, the PT if he wants to. So, curious how many characters he plans on going. I'm, it's kind of weird too, because I actually don't even know what character it would be in, in terms of a main Eon. Like, it's probably like more Joker Fox. Yeah, I asked, yeah, him, yeah. I asked him earlier today, I was like, so what really is your main round? He's like, it's. It's Joker right now, and I think he's like just going Fox. Just like a com he'll go Fox for a comfort pick or a matchup dependent. Yeah, and I think I think him going with Joker is really good. Eon, you know, notorious weeb, and you know that power up you get when you play a weeb character and you're <laughs> don't, a weeb. Don't, don't, expose, don't expose my man. I, 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 we all have some choices in life, man. Some tastes. Is it exposing, bro? Have you looked at his Twitter? You're gonna put on blast. I beat you. Got exploded, bro. <laughs> Bit of a uh, bit of jazz, but it's not going to lead into anything. We're going to go off stage. All right, I like it. just standing on stage. Goes for the F smash. Just barely going to miss though. Like I know it's totally off topic, but like every generation kind of has like their own like specific anime that makes you weird. Like the previous generation was like Dragon Ball Z, Inuyasha, Sailor Moon. No, like the like, classics. Yeah, the classics, right? And then you have like Naruto, Bleach, and One Piece. So like one of oh, of course Rip Piece, but like. <laughs> one, of, one of those three clicked to you, and that made you a weeb. So I'm curious, like, what the next generation is going to be really clicked on. Probably, it, oh, My Hero Academia, right? Yeah, it's, it's yeah. My Hero, Hunter x Hunter. Um, there's, like, a bunch I can name. Yeah, like, yeah, like, I know a lot of weeds. I know for sure it's, like, My Hero and a couple other ones. Like, yeah, My, my Hero is not the first one you think of. Mm -hmm. Like, My Hero is, like, the Dragon Ball of, like, this generation. You can say, I watch My Hero, and you're like, all right, that's a really cool show. Yeah, exactly. That's a really cool combo. <laughs> yeah, speaking of cool show, Mar uh, Master Mario is kind of... Kind of freeing up this Pichu. Not freeing up, but he, he has a really good lead right now. I would say almost freeing up. I can tell you, man, put this Pichu back in the pocket. Where, where is where is the fuck I lost to, man? Give me that KFC. Oh, that was great. Run back and F-Smash. That Pichu, that Pichu didn't live past 80. Uh, well, that's kind of like one thing that made Pichu kind of fall off the meta. Uh, well, well first, thing, first thing that put Pichu on the meta, obviously, was Void's placements with Pichu, mm -hmm. which were really phenomenal. Like, he, he did really do well. disgusting yeah. things. Yeah, he was doing disgusting with Pichu. Him and Eon. 
The thing, though, is that the character suffers from being one of the lightest characters in the game. Um, that only that, like, he just... After a certain T, like, you really can just whiff on the for over approaching, for sure. Like, that character can definitely press buttons, but you can actually press Pichu for pressing buttons. And uh, being one of the lightest characters, dying at percents like 30 or 40, and, and not only that, being able to kill characters that are really, really heavy, it makes Pichu suffer. But at the same time, you have a like, great, de decent damage, um, great speed, and honestly, a lot of things going on for you. But so many good things about Pichu. Yeah. What was wild about Pichu is, like, after the nurse, the Pichu mains disappeared. Yeah, they're, they're all gone, man. Well, honestly, good. I hate Pichu, but uh, that's just me. The one character that kind of just grows, like, because of that recent patch, too, like, the character that still dominates is definitely Joker. And I feel like it's, it is for sure, like, MKLeo kind of carrying, like, the actual meta for the character he's as well. Yeah. yeah, but he's the only player that gets result with Joker, like, on a top 8 major, for sure. That's, like, one thing that I tell people, it's really hard to put Joker at any space. Either, like, I want to say he's definitely a top 5 character, but I, I, I just not 100% stuck if he is actually, like, the best character in the game. Yeah, I, yeah, I'll say he's, like, a top tier. I don't know if I personally believe top 5, but, like, you look at his tool toolkit and look what he can do, and it's like, it's really true. And a lot of the arguments that people make about Joker is like, oh man, but Joker without Arsene is a mid tier. It's like, they saying cloud without limit. It's like, yeah, you yeah. could say without it, but he's gonna have it. Exactly. And not only that, like, can a character with this toolkit be that bad? If you really think about it, right? Oh, great shield. Yeah. Oh, and he kind of let go. No punish. Yeah. Also, Joker's flame is very thin. Two and if you guys are like really familiar with Namco Bandai and Mickey Tekken, um, oh yeah, but her boxes, her boxes are so important. Yeah, and then this one game, inch off. Yeah, you won't make it, bro. Yeah, missing. You won't make it, dude. Doesn't Let's matter how meaty your hit is. Doesn't matter your spacing, bro. If your character actually breathes and takes his sneeze, missing. Yeah, <laughs> it is actual facts. One thing too is that Joker has like, the best, the best. <laughs> If there is the best counter in the game, it's, it's Joker. Joker. Yeah, he has the it, best. It's Paul both, of them, both of them, dude. Like he has, yeah. he has frame best, three. Yeah, frame three. Not only that, but like Joker has the best counter even without our set. Yeah, like just re regular what it's called, Rebels Gauge Guard. Yeah, it's Rebels like, Guard. Yeah. yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's like frame three. You get it. You whenever you hit even anything, your your meter explodes and fills up. Yeah. And then our set counter, it's Paul Tane's counter on crack. Has more knockback. It's still like frame three or four or whatever, and it hits below lead. You know, so you're actually hitting somebody here. It gets the grab off the nair. Down tilt. Looking to see how Masamaru is coming. I do one one thing that I know that Masamaru is doing is trying to play around Eon as much as possible. Knowing that, you know what, Joker, when it comes to the hand-to-hand the -hand combat, Joker is actually excels a little bit more than Mario, and he's able to do combos like such and keep him off on the ground. I'll pull him oh, down. Man, brings him right back. And that, was, that was a great mix-up, too, from Eon, because he wasn't going to go try to combo off of the, the actual grab. He said, instead, he read where he was going to land. That's what he was doing. It's actually even really close, even though it's only two stocks. Eon has considerably brought this back. You noticed at the beginning, maybe 30 seconds ago, Eon was like, Eon only had mastered like 20%, but just through pure Joker being good, he's able to bring <laughs> it back, just get these hits in, and taking a, not taking a lead, but brought it back. Nice if he hops, setting up for a grab. Back grab. Yeah, I was going to say, he's setting up for a grab, not much of a back air, because it's always going for an empty hop, but he can read and approach it back by setting up the empty hop. Sometimes that's one thing I feel like some players just don't do enough of, is go for empty hops to try to confuse their opponent in the terms of timing. Like, Neutral get up though, yeah. Yeah, a lot of a lot of these top players you see them do a lot of empty hops. And you even saw that uh, with Nairo over at Main Stage. He was doing a lot of empty hops to just like mix up his opponents so they wouldn't know exactly what they were doing. Exactly. You don't really see that at that mid-level play. You just see people run in or just do one empty hop and immediately swing. Yeah, or if they have like a lasting hitbox, they'll just pull it out consistently at the ledge when you should be looking to time your opponent and kind of confuse them. Is he going to go for back air? Is he going? And even then, going for back air would be neutral to get up, jump get up, right, and then empty hop will read roll get up, and then all of them to get up. Yeah, so it, empty hopping at the ledge and just reacting broken. Yeah, exactly. But you kind of have to like train up for that reaction. Yeah, um, you know, that reaction, it's definitely right? not like something that's like, oh, free, just sit there. You have to train it. You have to be ready for it. Mm -hmm. It's a back air, nice, even sets up a perfect spacing there for Aegon, missing the opportunity. Still there. Gets a hold it's down into the back air. Back air, nice. This sets him up from the edge guard here. Once again, empty hop. Arisen slowly walking away. Arisen about to run out. Young made pretty good use of this uh, this Arisen gate so far. I respect good that. Good tech. Yeah, I respect that. He's going for the counter there because he knows much more have to go low. I'm, uh, I'm really surprised Master actually made that back. I don't know if he had a jump there. I'm assuming he did. <laughs> it's the fact that Joker also has like good, great 
Honestly, one of the best run speeds in the game. The best run speed and run animation because he goes so low. He just low profiles yes. sometimes. That's the thing to know with some people like he low profiles, great speed, and not only that, I like the fact he can go for things like um. He can go things for like there you go, back of He goes so deep. He can go so deep. He gets he gets pretty much what is known as jackpot in Marvel and Marvel vs. Capcom, which is um, Dante's like down down gun. Mm -hmm. um, he can go for that, and then he can just move around you. Like this character, like this character, literally is like DLC chic. Yeah, I love it. And he has a broken tether. Yeah, so good. Mario's still like one of those characters that I feel still great. Honestly, in terms of toolkit, like the damage, he's just. I feel like he's still Smash Four Mario, which is still good enough compared to some of the other characters in the game, where like they're the Smash Four duration of themselves, but they're just not good enough because the rest of the cast is much better now. <laughs> I feel like with Mario, it's like. He was buffed just enough to keep up with like the current cast yeah. of Ultimate. And he's like still a good character, but he still just has the same problems that he had back in Smash 4. He can lose to a lot of these disjoints. He can be susceptible to being edgeguarded and uh, all these kind of things. But you know that damage is still there. Look at instant 80%. And the fact that he doesn't, he lost his uh, one point setup. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like Mario just auto combos. Me. Sometimes, not all the time, man. A lot of combos are really ridiculous. Mario, he's where he's going to make on. That's a, that was a great way of putting it. Like Mario, Mario, the mid percent. It's an auto combo. It's just yeah. run up, just one, 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 and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, or, uh, whatever. Depending on your fighting game, but I love that walk away from Eon. Oh, that was that was gonna be a good punish, but unfortunately, like, he did not account for Master Mario's power. Alright, our Sam leaving. Okay, like look, that's the hardest thing to land to, and that's the one thing MKLeo makes it look so easy. It looks first so hit of fair, fair, yeah. Yeah, first, yeah, you have to do the first hit of fair, and you have to linger like in the air just for like half a second just to get the drag down correctly. Mm -hmm. All right, Arsene's pretty much online. If I were Master Mario, this is one thing too that like the way that Eon plays. He's keeping it so that Master Mario doesn't have that space to go for fireballs. That's what we haven't been seeing. Uh -huh. This is this is the point of the ledge though where you want to go for fireballs because you want to have Eon on field to buy yourself time to come back on the stage. Yeah, so you don't get edge guard and ledge guard. Yeah. And like we said, Eon getting that back here with Arsen. Zero percent. Arsen almost gone. So let's see if Eon's gonna be able to get any damage here. But I like the way that Mar uh, Master Mario was really just holding back so he can run out the gate, and he still was ending up getting a lot of damage for it too. Yep. Point throw using the fireball. Great opportunity there because it also stops like yeah. Gets, gets percent, but not only that, like, he can actually pressure, pressure you a little bit more. And the fireball, like I said, yep. pressuring on the shield. He wants to have him hold shield. He's going to go for a cross up there, or he can go for an empty hop grab. Yeah, I love that roll lead in from Eon. Gets that bear. Early up from Master Meyer. Really good for uh, for catching Eon off guard. Uh, that was real. Okay, that was really overzealous, too. Yeah, he held that. I thought he was going to maybe try to jump over, but I think at a point you're like, you know what, I got to hold this. Whatever happens, happens. Yeah. Like, gun down. That's a, that, that classic Joker uh, Joker landing. Yeah, and honestly, it's really good for Elon to go for that because it kind of stops Master Mario from making those up air combos. So set that high up, too. Or down air. Yeah, definitely air. down air. Once you get to that high percent, that down air, once you get caught in one of them, you're just done for. It. Yeah. So those downward guns are really good for uh, for making it so Master doesn't get those. Tries oh. to get that up air, like you said, but just barely missing. Okay. He's waiting for Master Mario, but actually, I was going to say, he's waiting for Master Mario's turn here, but overdose, dash grab. I think the only thing that's choking about losing to Mario, like, we're talking about Mario, like, in Smash 4, like, he's just the same character while every other character has advanced. It's like every other character graduated high school, but Master Mario is, like, still in high school. But he, he still does so a, good, and you're just like, why? He's just that dude who's, like, slightly older, said, yeah, 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 I can vote now. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like, like everybody, you know, like everybody graduated college, Master Mario is still in college. Everyone's doing, like, living their life, right, having their best time. And all of a sudden, Master Mario is, like, still doing good. It's like, man, come on, bro, you suck. You got the same toolkit, and you're telling me you're still good? Bro, you remind me of a friend of mine. Come college is <laughs> not easy, I'll, I'll be honest. That's fair. Things are not easy, uh... This uh, Eon so far, a lot of these games you've seen that he's always been down. He's had to bring it back a lot of the times. That's why he's been so good at like keeping the advantage. But Eon's been really good at just closing them out and just staying consistent, clutching it. Yeah, 99 percent though, as you say, like staying consistent. He's still on the prowl against Master Mario, but like at this point, you didn't see him. Go I was gonna say he goes for the game once more when he's trying to look for a space to recover. I like oh the my castle. God. That, was that was nice. That was sick. He got the bear one. I don't think Eon realized he got that. I think he wanted to yeah. like back air. Yep, classic. Classic Mario.
Throw out a smash attack, spot dodge, another smash attack, get him every time. Oh, 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 has that team on it? Man. We have a, I love ultimate, bro. It lets me master my ult to, to my heart's desire. <laughs> I just want somebody to win a major one day. And the first thing they get injured, they're like, hey man, how do you feel about winning this major? You did so good. I was like, well, what's, what's your secret? And you just look at him straight in the eyes, mash. I feel like that's what Lightwood said. He's like, I mean, I react to a lot of things, but sometimes, bro, I'm just mashing. Yeah, dude, just press buttons. <laughs> or like Mars. You, 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 you hit that big green button, man, you pray for the best. Hey, but bro, if the. That's the Yoshi, that's the Yoshi main life, dude. You yeah. hit that big green button. Bro, don't say that. You know, you know those Yoshi. Citizen are, in the chat. I was going to say, sit in the chat. You said Yoshi. All right, all right, man. She's going to get it now. Yeah, man. She's going to come back. Like, when she comes back to SoCal for uh, for Nightmare on Smash Force, she's going to be like, oh, I'm getting it, man. Yeah, I remember, I remember what you said. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Ian going over to the Fox now for the game five. Yep, because we're on Battlefield. That makes sense. Both characters. Uh, I was talking to someone earlier. I don't remember who. We were talking about it. He's like, I feel like. I guess they weren't important, man. Oh. <laughs> He's like, I feel like Battlefield is one of uh, the more neutral stages. And I was like, you know, I could kind of see that just because every character gets a lot off of platforms. Every character has, like, their platform extensions. <coughs> <laughs> oh, that's what was that whole ramp? <laughs> like, oh, I don't know, man. Oh, my God, he missed. I was like, oh, I don't know, man. Little Mike don't get that much off that. I was actually thinking about Mario the other day. Like, the one thing that Mario does gain a lot in this meta here, especially in terms of stage picks, every, every stage has a platform minus FD. Yeah. So literally, like, every Mario ha is good on about every stage. That, yeah, that's so true for, like, so many of the top tiers. Yeah. Palutena, no bad stages. Mario, yeah. no real bad stages. Fox. It's just FD, and even then, like, Mario's going to, the first thing, you know, our Mario man would do is ban FD. Yeah. Or Pikachu, no bad stages. Everything's yeah. broken for Pika. So, speaking of broken, uh... Neon has this really big lead right now. Not gonna get that uh, kill just yet. That's why he's slowly bringing it back. Has Eon off stage? Oh, oh, he called it out. He, yeah, he did call it out, but he missed. He actually like in the wrong direction. I feel like if Master knew he was gonna do that, I'm just curious why he didn't like charge an F smash. Something that would have killed. Yeah. Exactly right. If you're gonna read Fox's side view, which you can read if you're actually like an audio listener right now, you can actually listen to like the actual sound, and it's perfectly cute for you to actually punish it. So if you can get that, you might as well just go for the kill, especially yeah. if you're gonna read how the distance. You just need to have like what punish you're gonna do ready for it, and then just listen and react. Yeah. Obviously easier said than done. Tries to read that roll. Actually got it, but Eon rolled a little later than Massmire was expecting. But now he knew he knew he got up on a platform. He was on a platform. There comes the up airs. Thing two here is Massmire is looking for the victory. But you can feel it in the yeah. vortex too. He's out there looking for something. Wants these smash decks. Yeah, he does, and he he needs to stop that that, that situation there. It was good for him to go for it because Fox had to go for an, an aerial, <laughs> and then you go out. for an anti air. But the thing here is like it cost you a little bit of a percent where like Eon could have got a tip situation. Yeah, that's a that's a problem when Mass Mario has you at when Master has someone at a high percent but he can't kill it, he'll end up getting like really like you said, really greedy for the kill. Yeah. Instead of throwing out a lot of things and God God help you if you if you lose that stock first, he'll just throw out those smash attacks. Oh. Granted Mario's allowed to do that, but you can just notice how anxious he gets for the kill. Leon keeping this really good lead, gets that backer off the stage. Watch the landing here. I like it. Goes for an empty hop and looking for the right opportunity. Find an opening to come back on the stage. So scary. Massimar had him on the top platform. He could have gotten a kill if he got even one opening. You know he's try trying to look for that. Running up and shielding. Wants to get that up here out of shield. Not going to die to that back air, though. Man, he knows back air is doing a tremendous amount of work. Another one you have yeah, yeah. a second Bro, Fox, <laughs> Fox empty hop back air in at the ledge. That's when, uh, bro, that's when I sweat the most. And there we go. He gets that grab I at the top the platform. Gets the up airs. No, oh, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Say, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You say tell, man, but you kind of left it off. Yeah, he even got that up though. You saw how Master Mario was like really feeding for it. He's like, he tried to get it at just the right angle. He knew if he missed, it was gonna. Yeah, and if you think about it too, like Mario's Mario's back air too is actually pretty well, like threatening and relentless alongside of like Fox's. Like those two back airs all They're together. So annoying. To deal they, with. Yeah, they are very annoying to deal oh with. Oh my God, Mario's just back airing you. You try to punish it once, instant spot dodge, smash attack. Yeah, it's it's like you kind of have to respect Mario approaching with back air. Too. Mario, yeah, Mario back airing you just makes you feel just dumb sometimes. It's a sword. It is a sword. I'm sorry. Speaking of which, gets those back airs again. Master taking this lead, and this is in fact oh. game five. Where this is gonna move on to winners finals. Eon was looking really good in the beginning, but. Right now, Master's even to back up. He finally found his drive for these up airs. Yeah, like it comes. He's looking at actually. I was gonna say it's really smart for him to actually start looking for the ledge to try to like reset himself. Don't pick the middle spot because that's where Fox wants to be. But now you have the ledge against Fox. Actually hopping, good roll. Hasn't done that much. Good back up too because he's actually able to space himself a little bit away. Not perfectly spaced, but still solid. This is so scary right now. Master knows he just needs one hit on the ledge again. 
Alright, dude, we're gonna fist time. I thought Aeon was gonna F smash him. Oh, the run skin. That was a little scary. Oh, he wanted to call it the end. Oh my god! Oh, oh, he tried to do it! He got punished! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so close. So, and we Eon talked, was holding shit. was like, please, please don't hit me. Yeah, but, no, not only that, we talked about how, like, Master Mario, when he feels the victory in, in close grass, you said it, right? He just lets that up smash rip because he knows Eon might be going for an aerial there. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, like, Eon's like, I'm going to stay grounded. Like you said, hold the shield. Please don't hit me. Yeah, he knows, he knows that Fox as a character, wants to get that short hop nair, but Eon's like, I'm not. I'm not yeah, moving, I'm not moving, bro. I know you will swing first on God, bro. <laughs> so Eon gonna take that one, 3-2, moving on to winner's finals. The other side is gonna be uh, Sire versus Hockey, and let me tell you a story, bro. We were coming here, so I was like, he's looking at people signed up, he's like, there are two me mains signed up here, and I tell you, 